Hello dear viewers, this is me Faria from University of Sindh. Today we are going to discuss about classical conditioning. The cl contributors of classical conditioning is Ivan Pavlov and John B. Watson. Firstly, the classical conditioning theory was introduced by Ivan Pavlov and later John B. Watson discovered it more and he further divided, he further worked on it. The key concept of today's learning is that there are multifarious types of learning. The most basic form is associative learning, that is making a new association between events in the environment. There are two forms of associative learning, the classical conditioning and operant conditioning. But today our topic is classical conditioning. So classical conditioning theory was proposed by a Russian physiologist Ivan Pavlov. According to this theory, two stimuli are linked together in order to produce a new learned response in a person or animal. For example, if we talk about our favorite food, so our mouth becomes watery. So the name of our favorite food is stimulus and the watering of our mouth is a response. If we further describe the classical conditioning, so it can be divided into three types the before conditioning during conditioning and after conditioning before conditioning the neutral response is given to no response or you can say to the receiver and during conditioning the neutral stimuli and unconditioned stimuli is given to our receiver and after conditioning we would be able to achieve our desired target from the receiver or you can say your client or student there are many purposes of classical conditioning as a teacher as an educationist and as a parent we can use it in our daily life because its conditioning theory is that it is scientific this is because it's based on in empirical evidence carried out by controlled experiments for example pavlov 1902 showed how classical conditioning could be used to make dog salivate to the sound of bell as if we have talked about the name of our favorite food the classical conditioning is also a reductionist explanation of behavior this is because a complex behavior is broken down into smaller stimuli response units of behavior so this was about classical conditioning. Thank you for watching my video.